Morgan Uber here in Orlando, Florida, alongside UCF quarterback John Rice Plumley. John, great to be here with you. It's championship week. Before we dive in, though, to talk to Lane, you missed that second half against South Florida yep. dealing with a hamstring injury. Yeah. What kind of pain are you managing right now? Um, it's just kind of that point of the year, you know, playing the game of football growing up. You get to a point where it's it's in the season where everybody's got bumps and bruises. Everybody's dealing with something, you know, and so um, for me, that's what I'm dealing with right now. And so um, it's just about managing that. Um, playing smart on it, and that's what we tried to do uh, with South Florida, and then uh, ultimately be ready to go for the championship game. Three weeks ago, you faced this Tulane team. You showed that you had the blueprint to take down the top defense in the conference. What gives you the confidence that you can replicate that success here this weekend? Uh, obviously, Tulane is a stellar team, stellar defense, um, but uh, I'm really, really excited about where our offense is right now. Got weapons. Uh, everywhere on the field, you know, from the offensive line to the wide receivers to running backs. And so um, when you when you put it all together and uh, to have us click in the way we're clicking right now, it, it makes you excited going into a week like this. What do you attribute that chemistry to? Um, I think it's just uh, Coach Malzahn calls it uh, – going like this when he he talks with his hands a lot and he says going like this he, he says that at some point in the season a lot of teams plateau they get they get as good as they're going to get and they just kind of stay there um, and so our goal was to continue to get better week by week week by week and so ultimately I think that's what we're doing and and uh, hopefully play our best game Saturday when you watch the film against Tulane what is the single biggest challenge with their defense to game plan against them obviously they got players all over the field um, number one number two at linebacker level uh, you got some defensive linemen that can really plug some holes and on the uh, back end of it they got athletes that can move around and make plays and so um, it's one of those things that uh, game planning it's it's different because uh, you faced them once you know what 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 they were but you don't know what kind of adjustments they're going to make. And so uh, you have to be ready to make adjustments yourself. And so uh, that's what we want to be able to do come game time and uh, be ready to go this week. You had that 67-yard touchdown run against Tulane in the regular season. What is it about your offensive line that gives you the ability to make plays like that? Uh, unbelievable. Those guys have done an amazing, amazing job all year. And uh, I don't. you can go back and look at the run. I think somebody got a shot from the end zone. And it was, it was like I motioned Johnny all running back out. And uh, I, snap, I snap it, drop back, and you can just see this just huge hole just open up. And those, when those guys are clicking like that, it makes it easy. You just run in a straight line to the end zone, and those guys, uh, they, I, it's a testament to them because they, they are some really good players, I'll tell you that much. As a dual sport athlete, being a baseball player and also being on the gridiron, how would you say, how would you compare really, you know, hitting your holes in that vision that you have when you're rushing versus, you know, stepping up to the plate and seeing the ball well? Yeah, uh, I think it's two different, I guess, two different seeing for me, yeah. you know, uh, with football, it's a lot more patience and like letting stuff develop in front of you. Whereas when you get into football, I mean, in the baseball world, um, it's like see ball, hit ball, you know what you're looking for, um, whether it's pitch, location, uh, stuff like that. But um, I think it's definitely two different types of vision um, but yeah I, I think so with Mikey Keene having a guy like that on your roster backing you up this season how does he make you better being a part of that quarterback room he's a stud uh, there's plain and simple that he's a stud that's the only way to describe him um, he's a winner um, he's a competitor and uh, he's an amazing amazing teammate and so uh, to have him have your back uh, through a season like this where there's been ups and downs and ups and downs uh, it's been really really helpful for me I know um, and he's been awesome, awesome in that quarterback room when it's come to game planning, putting in his input, uh, game time adjustments, he's telling me what he's seeing. Um, he's been really, really uh, a big, uh, you could call it tool or asset um, for me and helped me out a ton. And uh, I just can't uh, be more appreciative of him. And finally, what is it about this team? What is the single biggest thing that you all have that really has the ability to win a championship here this weekend? Um, I think this is a special team. I think if you watch us on the field, a lot of passion all over the place, whether it comes to the T-wheel on that side of the ball, um, where it's Jeremiah Jean uh, calling the shots over on the defense, when it comes to, to Johnny Richardson, when it comes to Bowser, when it comes to Javon, Kobe, Ryan O'Keefe, there's just passion all over the field. And I think when you play uh, with emotion, um, it helps you make those big plays. We always talk about playing with emotion, um, but not playing emotional. When you play emotional, you get, you get out of your own game. But when you play with emotion, I think you play uh, your best ball. And so I think we do that as a team really, really well and uh, look forward to do it Saturday. We're looking forward to watching it on Saturday and you can see John Rice Plumley and these UCF Knights face the Tulane Green Wave 4 p.m. Eastern on ABC. John, thanks for the time. Thanks so much. Good night.